So now in this video I'm going to talk about this uh, little bank of super capacitors. I've done a couple other videos on them, but uh, as a refresher, these are all 2.7 volt 500 farad super capacitors. That's their rated value. Of course, super capacitors, especially cheaper ones, tend to not live up to their ratings, uh, especially capacitance wise. But in any case, these seem to be doing you know fairly well. So there's six of them here, they're all 2.7 volts, they're connected in series. This board connects the negative of uh, one supercapacitor to the positive of the other, and they're all connected like that, negative to positive. And so they're rated for 2.7 volts, each one of them, but when you put them in series like this, then that voltage multiplies. So that's 2.7 times 6, that's 16.2 volts now the capacitance goes down though so instead of 500 farads we divide that 500 by 6 and it's uh, 83 and a third now these posts I grabbed them from a kit that I had but uh, they work pretty nice you screw them on to uh, to the ends there the connections are underneath here and uh, this board here is a protection board. I haven't tested it out, but it should keep them from overcharging and also from uh, reverse charging because these are polarized. As I said, one side's negative, the other side's positive. And uh, so you don't want to reverse charge on there. That'll mess up the chemistry and capacitors that are polarized will explode if you give them a reverse charge. So you want to make sure you never do that. Alright, so now that we did a review on basics of supercapacitors, really, we're going to take a voltage measurement. So, I charged this up in uh, the last video that I used these supercapacitors three and a half days ago. And I charged it to a little less than 16 volts because that bench power supply, for some reason, gives the wrong reading. So, we actually charged it to a little more than five, 15 and a half volts. But in any case, now you can see we dropped to... Uh, 9 volts and I'm not sure when exactly we dropped to 9 volts. I measured it yesterday. It was 9 volts, too. So Within uh, two and a half days we dropped to 9 volts now that's to be expected with super capacitors though They don't hold a voltage a long time like batteries do the voltage tends to drop You know especially quickly at first and then at some point it should level off looks like we leveled off about 9 volts uh, but in any case, that's something to be aware of with uh, capacitors and super capacitors. You really need to charge them uh, shortly before you use them to get uh, the full voltage. Okay, so now I just ran into a uh, little surprise that I did not expect. So there should be one of these components right here. I think it's some kind of transistor. These are surface mount components. It's tougher to tell what exactly they are but in any case uh, that should have that component there and I'm pretty sure that right now this board is not safe to use and so checking a little closer we'll take a uh, voltage reading of course I've already done this but I'll show you that uh, we got about 0.7 volts across here which is uh, really bad this is the one with that uh, component that's missing some kind of transistor or something this super capacitor is a uh, 1.6 close to 1.7 volts and then you'll see that the rest are too. They're all about uh, 1.7 1.8 volts in that range. So what that means is that if we discharge this enough sooner or later this super capacitor will get about 0 volts and then since they have more charge they'll keep the current flowing in the same direction while they're discharging that'll discharge us below 0 volts. So then we'll have it reverse charged. This side will become more negative and that side more positive positive. and as I said these are electrolytic that's bad that's the point of the protection board. I don't know for sure that that's will happen but I'm guessing that's uh, one of the things that component did was keeping it from reverse charging so uh, I'm pretty sure I had that component on here before I haven't been storing it uh, in the best way and stuff I've been a little rough with it so I probably knocked it off uh, but in any case, I don't think this is safe to use right now. I'm going to have to get another board probably to uh, to do anything serious with it now. 